Okay, so my name is Ray, and uh, we'll talk about different cultures. And before you travel abroad, all of you have plans of going somewhere else. This is a safe zone, and there's some activities uh, which I prepared for you. You'll be running around, hopping around, and thanking, and for inviting me to do this with you here. And if you don't want to answer certain things, please don't say I don't want to answer everything. So that it feels a purpose. But some things I will work you, don't feel safe, don't worry. And respect each other. Maybe you can discuss, but don't attack the person. Maybe you have disagreement and certain ideas, it's okay. No grades, so don't worry about right or wrong answers. And speak up, one by one, maybe raise your hand so it's not going to be a mess like popcorn, right? We want to have democracy, but not popcorn. Okay. Okay, now we'll have the first activity. All of you, please stand up. And I'll request Ben to put this here. Get one. And just get one. And Ben will come here, and uh, the tape is here. Just get one each. And the exercise is guess who's Muslim? Don't worry about right or wrong answers. Okay. By the way, okay, okay. Just get one each, please. And some minutes. Just go to the front, Okay, just grab one from here, please. Only one functioning hand. And go up front. Once you have a picture, just paste it once, wherever you want. And then, and while you have tape, they will help you pose them. Okay, just go up front, please. It's only a one minute exercise. All right, let's go for it. Okay, just remember, don't worry about right or wrong answers. This is a trigger us to think. I think it's like a trigger. Like, we're all supposed to be not. Yeah, something like that. Okay. up front now. Got them all? All of the folders are there. Okay. Non-Muslims or Muslims. Let's start with Muslim. Who is she? Whoever put it up, do you know? No. No? Benazir Bhutto, do you know her? Does the name ring a bell? Like, uh, like Pakistan, a very good friend of the U.S., someone extremely famous. If you know Pakistan, you should know her. She, you think she's Muslim? Who is she? You're right. She's a converted Muslim. She was, she was Christian. She, first woman, the richest woman who paid her way to take us fly to space, no, for tourism, to outer space. She's Iranian American. She prayed her way to be the first female tourist. And him is a comedian on John Stewart. Okay. She is an actress in the Green People cartoonish movie, the environment friendly movie. Trek. Not Trek, a more <laughs> human movie. It's a cartoon, close enough. Sorry. It's like the battle of the humans and the people from another world. Yeah, Avatar. She, so she appears on TV programs, many shows. Umo Bear, uh, TV actor. She was Japanese who so converted to Islam, the fourth wife of the former president of Indonesia. It's legal, so it's legal in Indonesia. 
and he's also Muslim. Oh, you got them right. Okay, wow. Now let's look here. Zidane, who knows Zidane? He's the most famous football player, well, you call it soccer here, uh, of France. He's Muslim. Okay, and she is the prime minister or president of Turkey. She's Muslim. She is the queen of Jordan. She's Muslim. And he is the most famous actor of Bollywood. Where's Bollywood? India. India. <laughs> she is, she was the president of Indonesia. All famous people, not my friends. Another <coughs> football player, not American football, football. Okay. Another football player, comedians in the US, Comedy Central. You watch Comedy Central? Okay. <laughs> Actors, actresses in the US, very famous, all Muslim. Okay. So, this will cause you to think, like, wow, we all have ideas of how Muslims look like. There's no one look. There's all kinds of looks. That's why when people go on pilgrimage, wherever, to Jerusalem, if you're Christian or Jew, or even Muslim, to the al uh temple, I mean the mosque, or to Mecca and Medina, people find out we all look different. We come in all colors and sizes. Okay, lesson number one when you travel. exercise and now this is another activity <laughs> now get one okay my bad hand and then try to find out if you know what they are if they don't slap with somebody go now if you don't know slap with somebody who knows okay and then once you have them sit down so we know you're done Please stand up, trade, find out what you know and what or what you don't know. Make sure you get one each. Okay? You must have at least one each. If you don't know, trade. Trade. Just look for another one that you know. But it's just one minute, max. Time is taken. I'm sure you know this one, right? Give me extra. <laughs> you are wise. <laughs> All right, you know what that is? Okay, those who know now, let's all come to the front here. Come to the front here once you know. Those who know the answers. See. Okay. Those who don't know yet, look for one and come up front. All right. Fifty percent done. Still struggling, you're in a conundrum. 
Chris, good morning. You're the next table. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's not. It's Amsterdam. Okay. Next. Yeah. Are you sure it's not Tokyo or Las Vegas? <laughs> it's the real thing. Okay. England, Thailand, England, Thailand, Europe. 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 All right. Yeah. And where are they from? Swiss. Okay. And yeah, the U.S. <laughs> yeah, it's stereotypes of the U.S. Important word, stereotypes. Fish and chips. London. Stereotypes of the world. Train company that goes all over Europe. And hello to you too. Okay, please sit down. Thank you for the exercise. So now. Uh, You've learned that there are stereotypes of certain countries, and there are also stereotypes about the U.S. Midwest, Texas, California, everywhere. Be careful of stereotypes, okay? Now, I, I promise you, you have to do a lot of work, and I really mean it. Now, in one minute or less, draw the world map on a piece of paper. Don't 
forward and take your drawing. Which is the chicken nest table? <laughs> the signature, one each max. One minute. Okay, you have to walk around. You know, if somebody writes Ray or Peter or Mary or Maria. Okay, stand up. Stand up. This is 
How will other people, who wants to have a real life changing experience? Raise your hand. When you come back, you'll be a totally different person. Okay, Anna and Lauren are writing them down, so when you go for a deep briefing, they will, they will check on you. <laughs> okay, so there are three ways of doing study abroad, please. There are also other ways of doing it. Uh, okay, now here is for you to be proud of yourself. Again, same zone, if you don't feel like doing it, don't. If you are Native American, stand up. We have none here. If you are Latin, Latino, or from the Caribbean, partly or fully, okay, be proud of it. Oh, wonderful. If you are African, African American, stand up, okay. We are all waving our flags, you should know that. And Asian, Asian Pacific, Okay. <laughs> okay, European American. All right, let's all rise. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So remember your heritage when you go out. So people don't stare back all, all Americans are like this. Say, excuse me, I'm not all. I'm this and that. I'm half Scottish and half Jewish. Live with that, and that's a reality. And the US people have diversity and so on. And explain it to people when you go abroad. Okay, who have been to Canada? Okay, <coughs> Mexico, Latin America, all right. Europe, all right, this is a well-traveled group. Africa, all right, a couple, Ooh. Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Pacific, Vanuatu, Pacific Islanders. Oh, you have, all right. So well represented in this group. You can learn from one another. Who's going to Costa Rica? Okay, La France. Oh, il y a beaucoup là. Vous parlez français déjà? Oh là là. <laughs> Who's going to India? Nobody's going to India? Ireland. All right. Japan. Japan. Peru. Poland. Okay, wow. Spain. Okay, one. Taiwan. Nobody's going to Taiwan? UK. Wow, we're very anglophilic, huh? <laughs> Good. And multiple countries in Europe. All right, okay, wow. Most would be going to Europe. Okay, so short term or long term. Do you all speak the local languages? Yeah, if it's in England. Yeah, raise your hand. Okay, nice. Okay, let's move on. Do you know how to be polite in the different countries you're in? No? So maybe you can have a general idea, Lauren and Anne will continue giving you briefing. Each country is different. Some countries uh, touch people more than others, right? And some people kiss the cheeks. Some sh and don't go on a party uh, for, uh, spree when you say, oh, they kiss each other in Greek? I want to do it to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in France or Switzerland or Italy or Spain, yeah, you do that. And in some countries, you have to keep distance. And in some countries, women will give you a signal they don't want you to touch their hands to say hello. You would know in some countries. Like maybe in India, 